hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a very simple recipe but yet very effective for hair growth if you have tried everything and nothing seems to be working or maybe you've tried cloves and cloves is not working for you then this treatment is definitely for you this treatment is the new cloves so if you're struggling with hair breakage hair loss thinning hair hair shedding you definitely need to consider this treatment this treatment is a game changer it will strengthen your hair thicken your hair and give your hair a healthy hair that you are looking for so if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a mason jar. Our first powerful ingredient that I'm going to be using in today's video is Moringa powder. As you guys know, Moringa is a very powerful plant. One of the most important benefits of Moringa is that it helps to boost hair growth. Moringa is rich in vitamins and minerals that are essential for healthy hair growth, including vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, iron, zinc, and vitamin B. Vitamin B helps in producing red blood cells, which carries oxygen and nutrients to the scalp and hair follicles, improving blood circulation in the scalp, allowing the hair follicles to grow stronger and healthy as well. So Moringa is amazing for those that have fine to thin hair. Moringa helps to thicken your hair over time. So if you want a thicker hair, then I would suggest you should consider incorporating Moringa into your hair care routine. So I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of Moringa powder into the mason jar. Moving on to our second ingredient. So the second ingredient is cloves. So you can also use the cloves powder as well. Cloves contain high level of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth of your hair and strengthen your hair as well. They can be used for protecting the scalp from dandruffs, which is actually a major cause of weak and thin hair. It contains anti-inflammatory agent, which further helps in hair thickness. It's amazing at reducing hair fall. It contains vitamin K, which helps with blood circulation and stimulating the hair growth. You can use cloth to treat dandruffs, flaky scalp, and itchy scalp as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of cloves into the mason jar. Moving on to our third ingredient. So the third ingredient that I'm going to be adding is hibiscus flour. So I'm going to be making use of dry hibiscus flour. You can also use the powder hibiscus as well if that's what you have. Hibiscus is loaded with nutrients and minerals that are very beneficial to stop hair loss. It prevents baldness. It conditions your scalp. It's loaded with vitamin C. It improves buildup and it boosts new hair follicles by stimulating the hair growth hibiscus flower nourish your hair promote hair growth and help your hair to feel soft and silky as well hibiscus also contain antibacterial properties that contribute to maintaining healthy scalp and preventing dandruffs as well so i would suggest if you want to apply this spray to your hair make sure you apply it in the morning because hibiscus do stain clothes and bed sheet as well so you don't want to stain your bed sheet so apply this spray in the morning or afternoon so by the time you're ready to go to bed the spray would have been dried already you can also use this spray as a hair rinse as well you can add more hibiscus if you're going to be using it as a hair rinse because i'm using it as a leave-in spray so i'm going to be using less of the hibiscus flower so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add one cup of hot water into the mason jar. Make sure the water is hot so that the ingredient can infuse properly. You want to make sure that you get all the amazing benefits that contain in the ingredients, okay? By adding hot water, you want to make sure that all the ingredients infuse correctly. Once I'm done adding the hot water into the mason jar, I went ahead and mixed everything together. the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the mason jar and I'm going to allow it to infuse for 12 hours you can allow it to infuse longer the choice is yours 
do what works best for your hair type so after 12 hours this is how it looks like I'm going to go ahead and strain it out you can use whatever you have to strain it out so guys if you guys are still watching this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy watching this type of content please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so so once I'm done straining this is how it looks like I'm going to go ahead and transfer the spray into my applicator bottle for easy use so you can store this hair growth spray in the fridge for up to seven days after seven days you can go ahead and discard it and make a fresh batch so if you keep this spray for more than seven days it's not going to be powerful anymore so after seven days you can go ahead and make a fresh batch so it's very simple to make it's not stressful so you should be able to make a fresh batch every seven days so as always you guys know i always show you guys how to apply any of my recipe on your hair so now i'm just going to show you guys how to apply this treatment to your hair so what i love about all my recipe is that you can use them in so many different ways you can use this treatment on your braid your twist your locks you can also use this treatment if you have a box braid as well as you guys can see she has a protective style she just came back from swimming so i washed the hair and conditioned the hair as well so i'm just going to go ahead and remoisturize the hair so i went ahead and sprayed the hair growth spray to the entire hair if you guys notice i'm spraying the treatment on the scalp i also applied the treatment to the hair strands and the ends of the hair as well this treatment will help to strengthen your hair, which will lead to less breakage and hair shedding. So when it comes to application, I would suggest you should apply this hair growth treatment three times a week, okay, to remoisturize your hair or to refresh your braids. So always remember to seal in moisture whenever you have a protective style, such as box braid, braid, twist, twist out or locks. Once I'm done applying the treatment to the entire hair, I went ahead and applied my hair butter and my hair growth oil to seal in moisture. So always seal in moisture whenever you're using a water base. So a water base is a spray. So whenever you are applying a spray to your hair, always make sure to seal in moisture. Otherwise your hair is going to dry in a few hours. And also when you're using an oil based, make sure you apply your favorite moisturizer or your hair butter so when it comes to moisturizing your hair i usually use hair butter and oil some people do use just um hair butter to moisturize their hair and some people just use oil but i personally use both to seal in moisture use whatever method that works best for you so if you're experiencing hair breakage and hair shedding, sometimes the reason could be because you're not moisturizing your hair enough or as often as you should be. So when you're experiencing hair breakage and hair shedding, it's very difficult for you to retain length. So what you need to do is to apply treatments such as this, okay, which will help you to prevent hair shedding and hair breakage so guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment in the comment section if you have any question for me and i'll catch you guys in my next video thank you guys 